In this demo, we'll be seeing how to convert QuickBooks invoices into EDI, especially EDI 810. So if your customer is Walmart and uh, let's say you are creating a new invoice in QuickBooks, this is QuickBooks desktop. So I'm creating a new invoice. So after this invoice is created, it will automatically be sent to a TP Synergy and TP Synergy will convert this invoice into a EDI 810 invoice. We'll be seeing how it is uh, converted. So I'm just creating an invoice now in QuickBooks desktop. So the invoice, the QuickBooks creates an invoice 741. Uh, so. so the invoice is created in QuickBooks. And QuickBooks uses a tool called a Web Connector. This is a standard tool used by QuickBooks to send information to cloud. So uh, TP Synergy uses this Web Connector to get the invoice information. So this is done automatically in the background. I'm just showing it how it works, but you need not click it every time. It is done automatically. So what's happening is the invoice data is being sent to TP Synergy. So now we will log into uh, TP Synergy and then we will take a look at the invoice. So TP Synergy is being a browser-based application. You need not uh, install any application in your, uh, inside your uh, computer. So it's just need a browser. So the invoice will be automatically posted into TP Synergy before it gets converted into EDI invoice. So if I go and check the invoice. So these are the invoices that is created in QuickBooks uh, desktop, which is uh, posted into TP Synergy. So the invoice is automatically imported into TP Synergy before converting into EDI format. You can log in and look at the invoice or if you don't need to because uh, it's going to be sent through FTP. So anyway, the invoice is uh, available in TP Synergy. It's imported into TP Synergy. You can print a copy of the invoice also if necessary. If you have to send somebody, you can print a copy of this invoice from TP Synergy. But this is not mandatory because for uh, EDI invoices, it's going to be sent automatically. So uh, TP Synergy, what it does is it converts these invoices, the QuickBooks invoice, it converts automatically into Walmart or any customer specific EDI format. And it will be converted into EDI 810 format as you can see here, it has converted this. This is the QuickBooks invoice and this is Walmart EDI format. The file is prepared. So this file will be available in the server. So you can use a tool like uh, FileZilla. You can use a tool like FileZilla to download the invoice EDI format. So the invoice is in EDI format. You can download this invoice and uh, process it, upload into RetailNet. Or TP Synergy can send it through FTP or AS2 also. So TP Synergy can connect to QuickBooks Desktop, uh, extract the invoices in Quick QuickBooks Desktop and convert into EDI format and send it to the customer.